I am your ally. We are in danger. A mind flare? What's going on here? The is the... Uh. the events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mm -hmm. mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of Mind Flayers. Yep. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the Astral Prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? Yeah, we are playing the good character, right? You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Hear me. <laughs> yeah. The reckoning is upon us! The city thirsts for domination. Ooh. March! Joy! What? We're under attack! Help me! Wow. What's this? Master portal. Oh, escape to the portal before I see. Then Okay. Okay, invisibly. We will dash. With the nest. Seriously? Ooh. Wow. Fight your way to the portal. I need your help. Yes, yes, I know that you need my help. Oh, I mean, I can just first oh let's way. go here, then let's go here. All right, and then I suppose I can dash again. All right, nice. What's going on? This orb's going to blow. And soon. Ooh, wow.
Not so hard. Why don't you jump also? Nothing important right. is ever easy. Yes, that's true. So let's do. Let's come a little closer. Right. Uh, let's try it out. We have that piercing shot now, right? Martial art unarmed strikes. Wow. of it first. Nice. Alright. I don't fancy their chances. Uh you come closer. And let's I suppose that would be fine, right? Yeah, let's do that. Oh come on. down a beam of light that damages any creature that it enters uh, you can use an action to move the beam okay that's nice uh, but for now let's let's do this one uh, divine strike right and then we'll do this nice divine strike oh, wow Wow, wow, wow. All right, you just die. It's not over. Come to the skull. Uh huh. Hatched up. Pushing on. Okay, yeah, okay, let's jump here. It's not over. Come to the skull. I mean, I'm coming. I don't know why she's shouting too much. Didn't she know I'm coming? Come to the skull. What's in here? The Emperor. Ah.
your ally. We are in danger. A mind flare? What's going on here? The Githyanki is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Uh... Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Ooh. Help me. All right. Uh, prove to me that you are who you say. You saved a child from a viper back in the Druid's Grove. You saved the Asima Night Soul from her soul. You let me live last time you were here, though it brought Blackith's wrath upon you. I told you about my room in the Elsom Tavern that night when you held me. I was vulnerable. You comforted me. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all the proof you need. Now, help me. your best attempts to be subtle <laughs> the mind flares awareness is everywhere you blunder in its presence like a warg pup learning to walk <laughs> you must be joking i am telling you my thoughts directly into your head all right, but all right. if you insist on taking a look for yourself be my guest existence to date could have prepared you for this. Okay. As the horror subsides, you are left with only one coherent thought. You must do whatever you can to subdue the Githyanki. Alrighty. Happy. Now, join me. Fight. All right. Together, we can turn the tide. Oh, wow. So, who is this guy? Orpheus. Oh, the prince. <laughs> okay, fine. So, let me just check. Help your protector. The imprisoned Githyanki is close to breaking free with the help of his allies. The Mind Flayer is struggling to keep him subdued. Without our help, it will not succeed. We must destroy the Grithyanki assailants. The nether brain is too powerful to let live. Destroy it. Maybe the smartest thing to do. Uh, whoever has the control over the nether brain will... Okay. I mean... And the pale elf. Alright. Uh, I don't need to see the completed, I guess. All right, so let's do one thing. Uh, yeah, let's do haste. And let's kill her first. Uh, do that again. Okay, so she's silenced. And then I think we can piercing strike, main hand damage. I suppose I can do the piercing strike. Gaping wounds, nice. Nice. Oh wow. Oh wow 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 wow. Uh, let's do this. Uh. 
nice all right and we will do uh, I'm already concentrating so if I do that then I could do a ranged attack yeah let's do that Ah, wow. Oh, wow. And then there's this guy here. Wow. Uh... Okay, so we need to take care of those two somehow. So for that... Yeah, let's do that. Nice didn't do much okay fine Can't give up. No all right no. so a guardian strike I can do freedom of movement divine weapon moonbeam calls down a beam of light that damages any creatures that enters the beam or starts its turn in the light you can use an action I guess I can do here, right? I wouldn't be able to create three of them. So let's do that. Nice. Right? And then we can do... Yeah, why don't you come closer? And we'll do... Nice. We'll do divine strike. Move moonbeam. So I can move the moonbeam. So that's nice. Uh, let's do that. Destroy. Nice. They are stunned. Alright. Okay, nice. The all three of them came. So let's do that. Nice. This guy needs to somehow So what I can do here? Let's do this. Arrow of fire. Let's try that. Not enough action. Okay. Uh, why don't you come closer? Can carry me. I mean, I know I'm low ground, but let's try that. Wow. Ooh, wow. Okay, so for this... Yeah. Let's do that. Alright. I mean, that's fine. But they are... Alright, so you do... No, she's doing the moonbeam, right? I can move the moonbeam. So this one and this one can die. Alright, nice. 
nice. Next turn I can move that again. Uh, I need the healing. Yep. Alright. Dominated. Nice. Levitate. Alright. So my turn. So... I mean, he's dominated, right? So obviously we're gonna kill him. I could do sneak attack. Yeah, I can do that, right? So let's do that. Nice. Nice. Wow. Oh wow. Wow 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 wow. Okay, so I mean I can do moonbeam. Yeah, let's do that. The rock resists all attempts to shatter it. Oh. What does the resonating key does? Okay. I don't need to do the explode, I guess. So I could do topple, force tunnel. Is she concentrating on something? No, right? If she's concentrating, I could do the repulsor, force tunnel. I could do concentrating blast, but I need required. Uh, let's just use the healing, I guess. Right? Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought she was. Alright, fine. Uh, let's do. One, two, three. Four, five. All right. And <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, go on her. All right. And then you do this. So she's dead. I must regain control Alright. Nice. Thank you. That was too close. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I am a mind flayer, yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. <laughs> you may call me the Emperor. Okay. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of Mind Slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. Okay. For years, I served the Elder Brain. The one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. Uh huh. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. 
And they fueled me when I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillmane. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield, the largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence, though of course they had no idea what I really was. Mm. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while, until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He mm. tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call me Emperor. The name was intended as a slight okay. to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Okay. Yeah, how did you end up in here? Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prism. I was one of many, but the first to find it. Mm. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I see. I followed the feeling inside and found the Githyanki. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. While my body was within the prism's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue the Githyanki and find allies in the outer world. You. All right. We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. His power mm. has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. I see. When Orpheus' his mother left, a usurper took her place. Blacketh declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Blacketh wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prism. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. I see. Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. I see. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blacketh was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. What happens if we free Orpheus? That would be a terrible idea. All right. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would doom us both. All right. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid. A sworn enemy, just like me.
I'm glad you think so. I agree. But there is one thing that you have that I do not. Uh-huh. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. Yours continues to limit you. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. Uh... I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent Alithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. Mm. What would you that will be able to do things you never thought were possible? There will be physical alterations, of course, but only partial. You will retain most of your current form, okay. and you will soon see that the benefits outweigh any perceived loss. The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you. Uh. As I told you before. Two, why would I? You have done well with the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? Okay, let me... Is it... Oh man, what should I do? Uh, yeah, I don't want to become... I like my looks, right? <laughs> Probably not. Even as you say the words, you feel a lurch of disappointment. Your mind bristles with a lithid potential. How could you be so cruel as to deny yourself what you want most in the world? I felt that. It's your nature. You cannot fight it, so embrace it. What? It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. Okay. Let's see what it does. The tadpole screams for growth with painful intensity. It has been starved of life, of purpose. It welcomes your probing like a void waiting to be filled. All if you right. it, it will evolve you, just as the Emperor said. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Wow. We'll reload it. Nice. A wave of disappointment, stronger than any you've ever felt. And then, stillness. You've resisted your lifted instincts. For now. Okay. You are not ready yet. Keep hold of it then. Until you are. Okay. It has enough vitality to further your evolution. And your allies. Really? Perhaps you will be more inclined to try it when you see more of what our enemy can do. <laughs> but we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control. 